Okay, guys, part two of how to sling your tarp in camp. I left you in this position on the right hand side. We had tied an Evank hitch. On the left hand side, we had tied a trucker's hitch. And we had threaded our tarp through our ridge line, um, as shown here. The next, the next stage of the operation is to um, put in a couple of prussic knots. To make a prussic knot, you need approximately 14 inches of cord. And within that 14 inches of cord, you tie a reef knot. So you have left over right, right over left. Now, the reef knot's also known as a square knot, and there's a couple of other um, names and numbers that are on the on the reef knot. But anyway, it is what it is. Everyone knows it's a right over left, left over right knot. Okay, so the prussic knot. Here's your cord. Go through the loop once. Go through the loop twice. Go through the loop three times. And let it fall. Now what you do is, you need to dress your knot. With every knot that you create, make, produce, you need to dress the knot. If you don't dress the knot, well, it could slip or it could undo. So basically that's a prussic knot. Now, when you're at this stage, I suggest you always have a couple of carabiners, a kit. Stick one end of the carabiner on the prussic knot, the other end of the carabiner on the last eye of your tarp. And just push, okay? I'm gonna show you what happens down the other end. So I have a prussic knot on this end, um, very same as up here, and I just clip on the carabiner onto this end, and I grip, you grip the prussic knot, squeeze it tight, pull it. And hey look, there's your tension, okay, there's your tension. This prussic knot will open if you walk it. You gotta squeeze it, and then you can pull it back on itself, and you take the tension off. But to put the tension on, make sure you're not, you're not as dressed correctly, and just pull and that's it from here it's just a case of staking down your four corners and that's it let your tarp start up ready to go okay